When she was called to substitute during the spring COVID wave, Chelsea Brassard saw firsthand just how badly teachers are needed. I was called in every single day to my school uh, and the principal was honestly just texting me saying, can you come in? Still, more than three months after her graduation and more than a full year after she applied, Brassard still doesn't have her full teacher certificate, only a temporary one that allows her to work as a substitute. It expires in December. In an email to CBC News, Ontario College of Teachers spokesperson said, in almost all cases, certification delays are linked to incomplete applications and that holders of temporary certificates and certificates with conditions are eligible to be hired for full-time teaching jobs. So I was really frustrated. Brassard says she submitted all necessary documents and that in her experience, temporary certificates aren't seen as equal to the real thing. Some schools have said, we don't want to take that risk, we don't want to take that chance. In Nova Scotia, Megan Ansems was among teaching degree candidates who were told they'd be certified early this spring. She received a license number and was able to work as a substitute immediately. Oh, I was get ready to like tattoo that number on my arm. Months later, she still only has that number, though the Nova Scotia Department of Education says it's equivalent to full certification. All teachers who receive the conditional certification in the spring have been made permanent in Nova Scotia. Megan Ansems is optimistic. Well, I submitted my resume to a few schools, so waiting to hear from them, hopefully. But honestly, I love subbing, so I'm excited to go back to the school board and sub for September, October. Still, she needs a hard copy of her certificate to apply for jobs out of the province and internationally. Exactly. This expert says it's time to rethink teacher certification. Right. All these teachers have graduated from a teacher education program, so they've already been vetted um, to a certain extent. And the, the experience during this pandemic and what's going on right now um, might it might call for a reevaluation of, of how exactly um, we do certification. The goal of it all, he says, to remove barriers to young, enthusiastic teachers entering the profession, especially if a fall wave is coming, and to avoid what happened last year, when in some places so many teachers were off sick that parents were called in to watch over classes. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.